This is Insights, and my guest this morning is Dr. B.C. Abiola. Dr. B.C., welcome once again to Insights. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to yeah. be here. So we're talking um, stress management. It's stress, 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 stress all the way. Stress in the home, stress in the workplace, stress in relationships and marriages. You know? So before we delve into managing it, let's first of all know what it is. What is stress? Um, well, it's, you can define it in any way you want to define it. But let me just say that the body is being made to um, work in a positive manner with internal and external factors in harmony. But when this harmonious thing is disturbed and it's, you have negative effects coming out of them, for instance, maybe you know, there's so much noise as you said, relationship, there's a problem in the relationship or traffic yeah. on your way to work. Mm -hmm. And all, this, all these things are negative on your body and they're causing negative you know, reactions in your body. Mm -hmm. Then these are stress factors. And again, um, your body can either respond to these stressors mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a positive or negative manner. For instance, they can either you know, take a flight mm -hmm. or, or stay or they can adapt okay. to the situation of stress, or they can actually just relax in it and for a long, long time, just take it as a norm. Mm. Okay, when you do that, that is, you know, stay, adapt to stress, mm. which is negative on your body, then you start having problems. Okay. But there are positive stressors as well, which, you know, can be positive mm. in terms of, for instance, you're at work, you're doing things you like to do, within your optimum level, you're enjoying your work, you, you know, everything is great. So the, the stress is sort of demanding, is challenging in, in a positive manner. Okay. You know, so you, you're, not, you're not getting any negative um, you know, response from that. But when things become, when stress has become ne negative, for instance now, let's say you're coming from, the, from your home mm -hmm. to, to your office, mm -hmm. there is a traffic jam, you are sitting in your car, mm -hmm you're getting all frustrated, you're sweating in an air-conditioned car yeah. because you really have to get to the office for this meeting. Yes. You know, those are negative. They're external um, reactors. They're actually negative in a way because your, your, your body is reacting. Mm. You're sweating, you're, you're under pressure, you're yeah. tense. And it's either you ask your driver to take, you know, to, to take another turn or mm. turn back away from that traffic or you constantly sit in that traffic and continue to experience this negative stimuli yeah. okay which doesn't do your body any good mm. so if you continue to sort of have the stressors you know in a negative manner every time every time you're not doing anything about it yeah. that's when you have problems okay. okay but for instance if you take a decision right there and then in the traffic and say look i have to find a solution mm. and get out of it or decide before you leave your home that you're going to, I mean, you're going to leave your home on time and avoid this traffic jam, mm. you're doing yourself a world of good. So stress in a way is something is reacting in a maybe negative or positive to external stimuli, okay. you know, is external or internal, you know. So if it's positive, it's positive yeah. stress is good, but it's negative, there's a problem. Mm. You start having all this, you know, sweaty reactions and palpitations, you are, you're not sleeping well, mm. you, are, you, are, you are angry mm. any minute, every minute, yeah, so you know, so many negative things coming. Mm. I was just going so, to ask what the symptoms are. How do I know I'm stressed? Um, I haven't been able to define stress because I don't really want to define it because it cuts across individuals. Okay. But now coming back to how you feel, they're in different categories. You can, you can have um, psychology, Cold symptoms, or you can have phys um, physical symptoms, or you can have um, dietary symptoms, or whatever. But basically, the, the first thing you, you you notice when well, let me use myself as an example. Okay. The first thing you feel is that first of all, maybe you're sweating, and you're impatient, you're angry, your face is hot mm -hmm. because blood is being diverted to your face, mm -hmm. you know, because you're under so much tension, your your, your face is hot. Mm -hmm. Those are the immediate things you feel, mm -hmm. and you're, you're, you're on edge, and you're probably tapping your toes or you're tapping your fingers, mm -hmm. and you really, really want to bust out. Mm -hmm. You want to react. 
okay, or your BP is going up, not your BP. <laughs> <laughs> the BP is going up. Mm. So those are some of the physical things you, you get. Mm. BP going up, you can't sleep at night. Yeah. Um, you're biting your nails all the time. With the you're, headaches. You're getting split. Good. You're yeah. getting splitting headaches, and um, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. You're snapping a lot, and you're you're angry all the time. So this is the sort of things you get. Okay. Then the mental thing, the psychological things are now sort of very very higher level in terms of you feel the world is against you. Mm. You don't want to talk to anybody. There's this depression, wanting to leave the world, you want to come, someone wants to, you know, take their own life. Mm. You feel you're boxed to a corner. Mm. You feel, you know, that is becoming mental and psychological mm. in a way that then one has to get counseling okay. when it's going to that stage.